Unit 15, geometry, angles and 2D shapes. Okay, so here's some of the words that we're going to be using over the next couple of weeks. I'm going to start with quadrilateral. Quadrilateral is any four-sided shape. Okay, so quad means four. So a quad bike has four wheels. That's how I remember what a quadrilateral is. So a square, a rectangle, a parallelogram, any shape that has four sides with straight lines is a quadrilateral. A triangle is any shape with three sides, regular and irregular. If a shape is regular, it means all the sides and the angles are the same size. So if it's irregular, it means all the angles and all the sides are not the same size. An interior angle is the angle inside of a shape okay and here's that word angle and we've got three examples of angles here we've got a right angle okay a 90 degree angle we've got an acute angle an acute angle is less than 90 degrees so it's smaller than a right angle and an obtuse angle is bigger than a right angle okay so it's bigger in this right angle. So an angle is when two lines meet together and the angle is the distance in between, okay, the size of the distance in between those two lines. Right, so reflect. Well, reflect is like when we look in the mirror. It basically means that it's the same on one side as it is to the other. So if we look at the bottom, we've got a line of symmetry and reflective symmetry and this word symmetrical. Symmetry just means it's the same on both sides. So if we draw a line somewhere, the shape will be exactly the same size on both um, sides. So it's like a reflection. And finally, we'll look at these last three words, isosceles, scalene, and equilateral. Three ways of describing a triangle. Isosceles means a triangle where two sides are the same length and two angles are the same size. Scaling is when all the sides are different lengths and all the angles are different. And equilateral means where every side is the same length and all angles are the same. Up here, it says quarter turns and half turns. So remember when we did our work on time, a quarter is when we go around to around three o'clock. Okay, that's a quarter turn okay and a half turn is when we go halfway around so this would be a quarter turn clockwise and a half turn clockwise all right okay identifying angles discover question 1a in which corners a b or c of the garden can the bench be placed and question 1b Explain what is the same and what is difference between angles A, B, and C. Okay, let's share our answers. Now, if we move this bench around, angle A is the same size as the angle of the corners of the bench. So it will fit neatly in here because the bench has got right angles and this hedge has got a right angled corner and we can tell it's a right angle because the line that we draw for angles is usually an arc or part of a circle it's curved and round but whenever we see it drawn as a little square it means we have a right angle so we know that this bench will fit nicely in this corner angle b is larger the angle of the corners of the bench so it can be placed here is an obtuse angle that means it's bigger than 90 degrees so the bench will fit in there and you'll have a little space on this side angle c is smaller than the angle of the corners of the bench so it cannot be placed there we can't force the bench into that corner there's not enough space so question 1b Explain what's the same and what's difference between the angles. All of the angles measure the turn between two walls of a garden. Angle A is a quarter turn or a right angle. So imagine that 
quarter turn, like we said before. Angle B is larger than a right angle. It's obtuse. It's bigger than a right angle. And angle C is smaller than a right angle. It's an acute angle. So it goes pointy. Think together. Question one. Which corners will the bench fit in? And question two, can the bench below fit into the corner? How and why? So let's think of those answers now. Now, if we want to get this bench again, we've got 90 degree angles. Will it fit into A? No. A is an acute angle, okay? It's smaller than 90 degrees, so the bench will not fit in. Now, can you remember what I said about this square line when it's not a circle or not an arc? What does that mean? That means it's 90 degrees and the bench is 90 degrees. So yes, the bench will fit in there no matter which way around we put it. And C, once again, we can see that square. So this is 90 degrees as well. All that's changed is the orientation of the hedges. So now they're pointing down diagonally, but it is still 90 degrees. So the bench will fit in nicely, no matter which side you put it in. And finally, okay, we've got D here. Will it fit into the corner of this garden? Yes, it will. And again, no matter which way you put it, it will fit in because this is an obtuse angle. It's bigger than 90 degrees. So it just means that we have a little bit of space on the side. And question two, can the bench below fit into the corner? How and why? Well, let's see if we move this down. Now, that's not gonna fit in. Look, it's going into the hedge, okay? What about if we turn it on its side? Still the same. Yes, because this, is an obtuse angle. It's bigger than 90 degrees. But if we look at the angles on the other side of the bench, they are acute angles. They're smaller than 90 degrees. So if we turn the bench around, yeah, suddenly it will fit into that corner, no matter which side we put it on. And if you finished all your work, here's the challenge question. Remember, all answers are at the end of the video.